Welcome to another production. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's Monday. Episode 5070. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself on August 5th. That's the thing I say after um, the cold opening. Because this is the cold opening where I say, look at this stuff. Have you ever seen a time? You ever boot? Wait. Wait, what the heck? You hear that? Dingle dang? What the dingle dong is up with this dingle dong? Dang, ding, ding. It's a guy's. Oh, hey, now it's time. Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production. You're on TV once again. Once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and. Forever. Here we go. I'm alive, mate, all the way. Back around here to um, Monday. Who would have thought I would have made it this far? Did you think so? It was uh, how close were you to, to making it this far? Thinking, thinking, thinking. I got a hoagie today, and I'm pretty hungry. It's kind of late. I did some stuff before I got here. Usually, I'm kind of going mostly right here, but today I had some. Errands to complete, um, which included getting a hoagie. Mm. Mm, I do like a hoagie though. <laughs> oh no. Um, yesterday, um, Sunday, I was here. Now it's the weekend. Weekend's over. Back to work. Remember work? Um, yeah, that's what was Sunday said. Monday. Oh, Monday. Oh, wait, hey, forgive me, okay, it's Monday. Oh, oh. I know I'm being in company, but it's Monday, right? <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, it is Monday. I'm tired. Gotta sleep more. I do a lot actually. Oh, Kiara's here. I don't know why the video doesn't turn on automatically every time. Are you on video? Kiara? Yeah, I'm on video, Kenny. I don't know why it's turned on. I don't know. You gotta leave and come back? Like that's how I did last time. Yeah, let me leave and come back. Okay. Um, I was gonna come back. Ooh, I got a hoagie. Hi, Kenny. Hi. Oh yeah, it worked. The video actually, it did work. The so leaving and coming back. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I just went outside by myself for the first time, and <laughs> since I've been here. Oh my I've, god. Yeah, I'm finally off blackout, and I'm allowed to go on walks by myself. Yeah? You weren't yes. allowed before? Like this? Yeah, so I went to Target. They're like, hey, you can't do this. Yes, uh, you, yeah. You're not allowed to um, go out by yourself in this program for the first two weeks. Oh, now you can, though? Yeah, now I can because I'm done with the first two weeks. And um, they made me wait till Monday, even though technically mine ended on Friday. So yeah, I got to go to Target. And I'm going to be honest with you, it wasn't as beautiful as I thought. It was kind of um, more depressing. Yeah. Because... <laughs> um, they declined... I realized that, so they, they, they put my money on this card that they can track and stuff. So I I went to get some delicious Subway and I realized that I and also they put a spending limit on it, a daily spending limit. But I realized that um, I don't know the pin. They didn't tell me the pin. So I wasn't able to get that. It's so a I debit card? Huh? It's a debit card? Yeah, it's a debit card. You don't need a pin at most restaurants. Did you say you went to Subway? No. Subway, it just kept declining. 
sorry, Subway kept it kind of, and I don't know why, because it should have had enough, and it wasn't, they're supposed to still be $12 in my daily spending limit, because they made me spend 28 on the bus pass, but you don't actually need to pay for the bus, but when I went to Target, I got eyeliner, I was shortening the story, honestly, when I went to Target, I tried to get eyeliner, and I used the card, and I had to put the pin in, I put two five. Oh. I put what I thought the pin was. <laughs> yeah, don't say your pin. Yeah, I put what I thought the pin was twice, and it's it's not it. But I was also like, oh, I, I don't remember if there's a pin. I don't remember them giving me a pin. But I was thinking maybe they had me make the pin, and that's what my pin would be because that's what I always put. And, yeah, but who was... Uh, who... This is a card they gave you? Yeah, it's a card that they that they give me that um, you put funds on. So like, I put funds on it, um, but they can see. My mom put funds on it, but they can oh see. They they can see. Um, yeah. Did you? Like, you didn't even get to leave or like do your own thing. I mean, maybe only in college for like a little bit, but. Already being monitored like a like a kid. Yes, that's what they do in rehab because you're supposed to. They do it so you can learn how to learn, so you can reintegrate into society. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But but you never did because you never got to be living on your own. Yeah, I. You know that's the thing. I don't. I didn't really have that much freedom in the first place. I was in college, though, so... Yeah. Penny, I should have got good grades. None of this would have happened if I just decided to get good grades. Yeah. Well... Yeah. You should get good grades at college because it's so expensive. Well, yeah, exactly. But I'm not going to go back to college, I think, now. Yeah, you're going to drop out of college? I think I've already dropped out. I don't know what's going on with my college right now. I'm missing it. But it's summer. It's summer, but summer's about to end, and I'll still be here. Oh. Does college have summer, like elementary school or whatever? Yes, it does. College has summer break. Just but like you can take classes in the summer if you want. Oh. Um. But it's the same as summer school. Summer school, but it's like, do you do they have yearbooks in college? That's a really good question. I don't think so. Cause like, I don't think so. So many classes. Yeah, there's too many. There's too many people in college. I think. And they don't call you freshman at college, or do they? They they call you freshman in college. They do. Yeah. And then you def- you never got to be a sophomore well technically I well okay so that's the thing like I I was in my second year but um, I I think I was still a freshman in the beginning of my second year but um, like like because of the amount of classes I didn't pass and the amount of units I had mm. What happened, what happened at Target? Like, you had all your stuff and you were trying to buy it and then your car didn't work and you just had to leave? Yeah, so, well, the most embarrassing one was at Subway because in Subway, I tried, like, four times. And then at some point, I said, I don't know why it's not working. And the lady said, I don't know either. And, and they had already made all your sandwich. Yeah, they had already made my sandwich. <laughs> you you to tell them? I, I kind of, I, I haven't been to Subway in many years, but... You have to like walk down the like the the subway aisle. It's like you're getting married to walk down the aisle. But like, and they're like, you want this? And you're like, yes or no? You're like, how about this? You want this? You want more of this? You want less of this? You're like, you're like walking them through your whole deal. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's. I I already like I have my subway order down so. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah, they, they'd already made it for me. What'd they do with it? I don't know. Maybe they ate it.
Um, I wonder what they did with that. They didn't give it to me for sure. Where did you go first? Um, I went to Subway first. The reason I went to Subway first was because I was going to get um, ice cream at Target, which I did get ice cream because I used um, EBT because now I have food stamps in Oregon. And then... Mm, um, you can't use those on Target? I mean at Subway? Hi? You can't use EBT at Subway? I don't think I could. Can, can, can you use EBT at Subway? I think you can because it's cold. Hi? Some places in California you can get KFC with sub, uh, EBT. Wow, I didn't know that. You can get but, um, Papa Murphy's with it. Yeah, because Papa Murphy's is healthy. I should have looked that up. Maybe you can get... It's not about health because you can get Mountain Dew. You could just use your entire EBT on Mountain Dew. Yeah, you can. You can even get the really expensive stuff. You can get the team at Robot. You can get whatever you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could just get Mountain Dew, but I I knew people that would just get a lot of pizzas from Papa Murphy's. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a very, very good diet. And it seems very expensive, too. Well, no. no. I is expensive, though. Um... So you, you went to Subway, but then you still went to Target even though your card didn't work at Subway? Yeah, because, okay, because I thought that maybe it was just like my limit, my daily spending limit, so I would be able to buy the the eyeliner with the card. Um, but I don't know. I wasn't able to. I think because the pen, but... Are you... Are you are your eyes not lined now? Unlined? They're not lined, Kenny. Oh my god! Yes. I know, Kenny. My eyes aren't lined at all. They haven't been lined for weeks. Oh my god. I know. Um. Have you you never even seen me without lined eyes? I wouldn't want you to see it. It's <laughs> oh wow. Um. I feel naked. Yeah. Um. Did you did you go back or you, that was all today? Uh, this this all just happened. I uh, when I no, I didn't go back to subway. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. Um, well, yeah, I'll go tomorrow because my spending limit will uh, come back. Yeah, are they gonna tell you about it? Like, tell me about what? Are they? Are, I mean, but your card never worked even once, right? No, my my card didn't work, but my card did work when we. Uh, when we got the bus, uh, when we got the bus pass. Oh, okay. How long is the bus pass for? Um, it's like a month's worth, worth. It's a month's worth. But you don't have to pay for the bus here. So it's really useless. What are you buying it for? Huh? Why are you buying it if you don't need to? Because they made... They, they made me before they gave me the card. They're like, before we give you the card, you need to buy the bus pass because they want you to do it legally because they want to get rid of our criminality. Mm. Like they want you to have a bus pass on the bus, technically? Yes, they do. They do want you. So. But they yeah, don't check it? It's legal. It's legal to pay. But So you're supposed to have it, but they just don't check it? I very, in my experience of Portland buses, which is very small, but from what I've heard from people, they like barely ever check it, and you usually always can get away with not paying. Because the bus is but, free. Here, the bus is free. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's really cool. It's not free. In San Francisco, technically, you're also supposed to pay, but I've never paid. Francisco. I've never been in Sacramento, except in Westside, you have to pay, but... Well, it used to be that when you walked on the bus, they chucked your pass. Yeah, you... Well, now you put it here in the bus. At least when I went to you, just, like, scan it on a thing. Yeah. Well... Oh, God. 
It's probably good to have a bus pass, but it's kind of weird that they're monitoring you so hard. Well, it's because I'm an addict and I need the help. Yeah? Um, I don't think so, but they think so. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) My family thinks so. Yeah, but... And you're you're hanging out with, like... Crackheads or whatever? Yeah, they're my friends, my family. Making good friends. I, I didn't get to make that many friends in college. Yeah. My only friend is Ray, so now I get to have all of these new friends. It seems like um, that it's going to, they're going to be a negative influence, maybe. I, you know what? You should talk to my mom, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should talk to my mom, man. No, I don't think, I don't think it'll really be a negative and I don't know, you know, I don't think it will, but I can't really make that judgment for myself because apparently I can't make any decisions for myself because I'm an addict. Oh my god. Um, did so they, do I know? Did they give you a coin? Oh yeah, I, I do have a coin. Um, I got a one day coin <laughs> I was supposed to get a one week coin. I was supposed to get a one week coin, but they didn't. Um, they didn't have one when I went. But I'm gonna get my two weeks if that's the thing, and soon I'm gonna be able to get my one month one. And when, what do they? Uh, what do they do? What do you do with your coins if you if you uh, relapse? You, you honestly, so. Uh, a lot of people, if they relapse, they keep their sober day. A lot of people don't. Sometimes people shame you. Sometimes people don't. I know what I'm going to do is, I'm definitely going to smoke weed. Wait, that's not, well, I know it's impossible. I'm definitely, definitely going to smoke weed before this time. So I think I'm, I'm just going to keep my sober day. What, what do they do with your cards? I mean, your coins, though. No, you can keep your coins. I, because... I don't know, maybe if you were holding your coins in your hand at a meeting and you told them somebody was trying to take them away, but... See, you don't... The, the rehab place doesn't give you my coins. It's just like at the meetings. Mm. But then you have um, a collection of one-day coins? Um, I, I only got one-day coin from one, from one meeting, but I, I was going to so many meetings because I was bored. I didn't have anything to do, so I could have got more. Um, I mean, yo, what you gotta do? You know, all you can do is like read. Yeah, I was. Well, no, they have a TV, but I was reading a good amount. They um, have but TV. I was watching movies. Watching what? I was watching movies. One more time. Movies. Movies. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, movies. But now, oh god, I'm lost. I've never, I don't know how to get You're lost in Portland? Can you use GPS? Uh, yeah, I watch movies. And we got some messages. I am able to go on my phone, but it's not a good addiction, so I try to not be on my phone too much. Oh, well, it's just you. Wait, who's this message from? situation, so, yeah, we'll see what I know about it, but I'm so glad you can do anything for me, um, yeah, that's what brought a courage, so I appreciate it, um, thank you, and, uh, like I said, I'll even call back, uh, I'll have some free time the other day, so, uh, if I'll stay by it, uh, and, uh, Hmm. Young fella, can we call you back? I don't know what happens if we call this number, but I'm going to try it.
Thank you. Thank you. you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. No phone. We got a Google subscriber. You can call us back. You have about 37 minutes there. What's in here? Well, I gotta rewind it now. This one was uncued because of yesterday. Lutzo was here. Um, what day is today? The fifth. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, stuck my foot. Can you hear it? This one. Uh, how's your nose and how's your foot? Did you make it by future? Made it. The future. That's the past. We're here. Look, the dog, we got the dog on the couch for the missus of the future. She's being such a little sweetie. You talked to Jean? Jean had big news. Uh, and it's not just COVID. <laughs> <laughs> we got a burrito. My uh, nose is better than yesterday. Worm guts. Yeah. What were, what were you supposed to say? Did you remember your train? About the future. It's just the past. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Life is good, huh? Why is Tyler moving? <clears throat> yeah. My six month anniversary. It's not out. What does Sagat say? Bye, Bye girl. girl. Bye, future. It's us, the past. That's right. Talking about the book, talking about embarrassing stories and following like weird trains of thought the whole episode. Self respect. Yeah. Did you go back to Porch Fest? Did you get yeah. sunned out? Back to yeah, church? I did. Both That's those. Florida here. Both those things. Oh, yeah. Um, who's oh, leaving a message for Yelpa? Call Freddy. We got another message from Bird too. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go to TC or the, the Warrior or something. We'll see what Freddy says about the whole thing. Maybe. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy, how are you? good doing all right just actually packaging up some shirts to have shipped out oh what people bought them yeah. people bought them on the web yeah so where uh, all over the place somebody even here in olympia and then actually i went up to tacoma today and delivered one to halo wow and halo says that uh the new album's almost done i'm the on the program for their uh, release. Wow! Uh, lots of crazy news. That's good. Yeah. You drove up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Madeline's sister was, like, we met up with her sister to visit in Tacoma, kind of like meeting halfway from the Yeah. Mm. And, uh, um, yep. Um, buy, buy a t-shirt. They're for sale. 
Yeah, they're almost gone, so I think it's time to do get some more made. I'm oh wow! Maybe doing can, some black. We can black um. This time. We can use the um the money that we make from selling the shirts to get new shirts, all right? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Is buy new shirts. What do you think about black shirts with the white design for this next round? That'd be fun. We, we were going to do that, but then some of the designing was weird with it. Yeah, I, I think I can fix that. So I was going to play around with it. And I'll, I'll send the... But then does the guy have to make a new screen for that? I think usually he already has reused the screen. I'll ask him. He'll have the screen around, but it's been long enough. He just reuses them and remakes them. Yeah, but if you... um. If you do the uh, cha any changes, and you got to do a whole other screen. That's what I'm saying. He probably already. Uh, I was talking to him about this a while ago. I was like, "Oh, how long do you keep the screens?" And he says that he reuses them pretty quick because he's like making so many shirts for different things. So oh, he's so he's like, he's already like if we order another run, you do it. I have to make another one. Yeah. He, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Um, are we? <laughs> We're profitable? We're, are we in the green? Well, we haven't paid you back yet, but yeah, we're, 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 we're basically profitable. So We yeah. should get, I want to get some charts. We should show everybody. Okay, we'll get a chart. Uh, yeah. that'd, uh, that'd be very easy to do because I just found out how to make charts in uh, Google Sheets, actually. Mm. I mean, so I don't know if we're, like, what we should do, but I want to... Um, be transparent about money and um, with the viewers yeah with the viewers and yeah. then have a uh, like you know maybe if we're making money we should um, like get something that we want to buy for everybody oh okay nice yeah like a like yeah. maybe a dunk like a dunk tank oh yeah or I want to buy one of those wheels, maybe. A wheel? Oh, like, yeah, I know. I was trying to look into building one. I actually bought the the gear for a wheel. It was going to be a secret surprise for the episode 5000, but I never built the wheel. But if we get two, like a piece of wood. But you know what might be easier than the standing wheel? Is like Wheel of Fortune style where it's like a, on the ground. Yeah. Like flat. That's fun. It's less, you know. It's harder to visualize. Yeah, I guess that's all good. But it's easier to build. Yeah, just because uh, you have to have the um, the. I actually know. I have an idea. Is what if we? I have an idea. I think I know how to do it actually. Because the main thing is that the weight needs to be like perfectly distributed around the. Um, yeah. The part that spins, but if you just like attach it to a piece of wood and then put a stick on the other end with a pencil and then spin that, then that should be like a perfectly even circle around it. Like you turn the uh, bearing into its own compass, and that should actually get you like a perfectly even one. So maybe I'll try that and we'll see if we can make one ourselves. Yeah. And then we uh, buy one. Oh yeah, but then if we it inevitably fail, if we make it, then what are we we're raising money for? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Good question. We'll come up with something. Maybe we should. Maybe we should sponsor something. Yeah. Like with money, we have. Uh, oh yeah, but then we can just trade sponsorships. Yeah, I, I mean, at this point, we're not. Very profitable. <laughs> yeah. Maybe someday we'll be. Maybe someday we'll actually be like. Hey, I would say like we're making it so that when we sell stuff, we can stuff. But it's not like. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, when we like get. We'd even be able to pay studio rent at this point with it. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. Maybe we should just do that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, what's going on tomorrow? Well, okay, so we've got uh, KMVP coming to town from Vancouver Island. Um, and I know, like, last week I was like, oh, let's 
have the show like at LaVoyer, but I think that's that's too crazy. Let's not do that. We're gonna have KMVP come and sit on the couch tomorrow. And then go to LaVoyer and there's gonna be a show. Um, and I'm working on getting it set so we'll actually be able to live stream it onto the channel. So you'll get to like see the like normal episode of the program with KMVP and then like two hours later you can watch the the entire uh, show with like Big Tom the Lithuanian, uh, poetry by Reed Urban, with the uh, geological creep, and even like a hardware techno set by uh, Drop Acid Tarrant. So mm. it's going to be a cool show. That's good. And did you did you communicate with the Canada band about about that? Yeah, yeah, I think we're all on the same page. They, uh, it's like, mostly got everything except for a drum set, and I think I've located a drum set that we're picking up tomorrow around one, and then I've also got a backup, just in case that song goes weird, so. All right. Things are pretty well set up, I think. The only thing is I haven't, like, plugged in the, I was going to do, like, video visualizer stuff, um, and I haven't really set those machines up, so I'm gonna have to put those together sometime tomorrow. And, but that should be fine. That's the only thing I don't. I'm not. It's not like actively prepared, and that's pretty minor. So yeah. And what, and what is like five o'clock or six o'clock here? Yeah. Whenever you can get there, it sounds like they'll be around. So yeah. So five. Time, how about five? Five thirty. Five thirty. Five thirty is good. Five thirty. Five thirty. Five thirty. Five might be good because I think the show's supposed to start at seven, but maybe it'll be late, so I don't know. All right, well let's say five, and then start at five thirty. Five. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, uh, yeah, that's good. All right, well, are you talking to them? Because they didn't. I haven't talked to them in a while. Really? Uh, I've been texting with them. I don't know if I've actually ever spoke to them for real. So. Mm, okay. But they said they were going to call on Thursday. I think maybe you recently talked to them on the phone, or got a message from them without realizing it, but. I heard that the uh, or they're gonna come back for Sunday as well. What Sunday? They're playing on Sherler Sundays this Sunday. Wait, KMVP is? Yeah. What? I don't know. Maybe it's on their way wow. back. Maybe they're gonna go south and then come, go turn around oh, and come that's back. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Um, and then did you know that uh, the band What is uh, gonna be in town too? Are they coming here? Uh, they're going to play somewhere in, in Olympia. Yeah, but they're not going to come on the program. I would assume that... Uh, I'm assuming that they would want to come on the program. But yeah. I haven't uh, haven't been in contact in a while. Originally, I thought we were going to be setting them up a show. So. But now they got one with Mark. Who did? Mark did what? Really? Yeah. They have like, what and KMVP the same thing? No, they're different. Oh. It's but different. KMVP is also playing on Shirley Sundays? KMVP is playing on Shirley Sundays. What is playing at the San Francisco Street Bakery side zone on like a Tuesday or something? Oh, but Mark cool. set that up as well. Great. That's great. Mark also invited, like I did the Shirley Sunday, I, I like taped it, and Mark said that I should oh, do cool. the program before Shirler Sundays on Sundays, but I don't know because you're you're working and then I had, that's a whole thing to do. Yeah, we could probably do that once if I get the day off. Yeah, Mark said to do it at like before it starts. Um, okay, that's cool. But he also told me that I um, he, that I want he wants me to interview a band, and I'm like, well, are we gonna put that on the program or what? I don't know about that, but uh, yeah. Um, like interview them about what they had for breakfast. And yeah, stuff. I know. I'm like Mark. I think <laughs> you like. I don't know if I want to ask them about their history of a band, because, um, yeah, Mark was sending bands our way, but now he's just doing his own show. Yeah, he's like, have you seen anything crazy on uh, while you're driving here? Yeah. All right. Well, that that's sounds good. good. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna do it tomorrow, and we're gonna be at the studio instead of at the lawyer. That's, that's easier. Yeah, that's, you, I think it, 
like, and actually, I think it's like a more enjoyable thing for the band. Because I can imagine the Boyer show, no matter what, it's just going to, like, devolve into chaos. Yeah, it's going to be better here. Um, yeah, we've got to clear some space on the booth, maybe. How many people are in the band? Yeah. Five. Oh, yeah, are you gonna be, but you're going to be here? Yeah, I'll be there. All right. All I'll right. hopefully have gotten some stuff set up at LaVoyer beforehand. So we'll they're see. open on Tuesdays now. Are they doing a special thing? No, they're open on Tuesdays again, which is great. Maybe, I'll, well, maybe we could do some Tuesday stuff at LaVoyer. Um, Bird left a message, and we got about 20 minutes. I'm going to listen to this bird message, or what are you doing? I'll listen to the bird message, and then I'm going to get back to packaging stuff. Oh, pa- yeah, packaging stuff. So I, so I can ship them out tomorrow. All right, and then we're going to sell more at the show? Yeah. I guess we'll bring them to the show. It's funny because we'll, it, it, it's like going to be strange that we've got merch, but I think we should just bring the merch anyway. Just why not? Yeah, maybe. Can we, I mean, can we sell them at a store? Well, we can sell them at rainy. Uh, can we sell them at rainy day? Probably could, yeah. Just like so we could just have them a place where you can buy them. All right. Um, here's the message. Let's see what the bird says. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I noticed uh, your uh, voicemail. You're trying to make your voice sound a little uh, deeper than than it naturally might be. Am I? <laughs> I am. And uh, kind of like. Uh, Who's kind voice? Who's maybe a little robotic? Who's on there right now? And uh, anyway, I was just calling because. Uh, what even is the? What's the outgoing voicemail right now? I'm not sure. Oh <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you, I was thinking I mean, about you. You've called kind of recently. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah usually that's the true. reason why people call each other, you know, maybe. Um, I guess. At least that's part of it. I mean, it's, you kind of got to be thinking about somebody to call them. I, which came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't know. I, I guess I was thinking about you. I, uh, you know, for a while there, I wasn't calling you, and then you were calling me every once in a while, maybe every uh, couple weeks or a month or so. But it feels like it's been a little longer than the last time since you called me. Oh yeah. And I just wanted to let you know that I still, still think about you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and, uh, yeah, at the county fair, I was wondering if you went to the county fair. I, I did go. I got a lot of video of it. You know, I just haven't even got through it yet. Seeing if you wanted to go to that, but it's all over. <laughs> it's all over. And yeah. so all over is Lake Fair. Lake Fair was like a couple I, weeks I did go. We, yeah, we should probably take Bird's Child. It's so like some of the you, stuff like I kid activity. Yeah. For Lake Fair, they were pretty awesome. Um, no, he was out there. I even, there uh, got some video on my phone. Yeah. So that was pretty Classic. cool. Uh, I went home after that. That was good. And, uh, I enjoyed watching everyone yeah, videotaping the fireworks, fireworks with their phone. By the Capitol. Yeah. Kind of just parked in my car right by the Capitol. And then right when the fireworks were over, I was out of there. There were a couple of cars that got past me, but I, you know, they kind of they pulled out even before. Yeah, the show was over, so... Yeah, I saw the fireworks from the like east side. It was, was a good... Kind of bad no traffic. Ship. But, um... Anyway, yeah, I mean, I guess, uh... That's just, like, my opinion, man. Uh, is it? So, what is? Uh... You're supposed yeah, to say that uh, if you say something mildly offensive. Going past <laughs> Columbia and Fifth, there's the, uh... Carson de Donbury right here. Oh, yeah, did you go there? Uh, the Donbury, uh, Korean. I can't. I think oh, no, it's I Japanese. Think Have you heard of this new place? It's, it's like French it's and right Japanese. Uh, oh, yeah, that's where the. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen that. Anyway, so I haven't been there. It's expensive. It's really expensive. Oh, it's fancy. Yeah, it's like $30 meals. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, well, one I of guess, those things where you walk in, look at the menu, and they're like, oh, well, hmm, suddenly I'm not hungry. Yeah. Let's see. All right, well, I'm going to call Bird. 
right. Thanks for calling me. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Um, yeah, I guess you're going to tell me what's uh, what time exactly. Is it 5.30? 5.30. 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. That's what I'm going to tell the band. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, it's called Bird, or maybe I'm going to cue this up. Maybe I will have made some advances in my personal life. Bye, future. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, personal. Oh, what the? Oh, y'all fellas calling right when we're about to call Bird. That's what we can do both. Um, oh, and Mr. Ginsu. Hello? <laughs> Wait, I think it's, yeah, it's y'all fellas. Oh, what the? Hello, Bird? Hey, howdy. Hey, how are ya? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Where's y'all fellas about to get on the call, too? Maybe. If it works. Oh, there it goes. Hello, y'all fellow. Hi. Hey, Bird's here, too. Oh, hey, Bird. Yeah. Can you hear each other? Mr. Bird. Hi, hi, hi. How you doing? I can hear you. I could make it probably if I called the Yolfo sound a little bit better. How's it? What, what, what are you? Uh, what are both of you doing? I'm, I'm calling. You're both getting on here at the same time. Yeah, just uh, I'm heading eastbound on Harrison right now. What, what are you doing, Yolfo? I'm sitting outside and there's bugs biting me. You have a phone? Like a cell phone? Laptop using Google Voice. Oh yeah, yeah. What kind of bugs? I don't know. I thought they were baby bees the other day, but they're just like weird little bugs. Baby bees don't bite. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a song. <laughs> yeah. Um, I saw you having some fucking band tomorrow. Yeah, there's a fucking band. They're gonna they're gonna be here. They're from Canada. Uh-huh. They're international. We're international. You're international? International. There's a band, band coming. What? Uh, in your studio? Yeah, the band's going to be here in the studio. You want to meet a Canada band, Bird? You can be here. Uh, maybe. Uh, They're going to be uh, here around 5 o'clock. We're, we're a uh, stop on bands, on bands' tours, and if they know, they stop here, you know? Yeah, that's great. Wait, what time is that tomorrow? Some, uh, music um, videos. It's about 5 o'clock tomorrow, my time. That's when the show will be live? Yeah, you can call the band. So I call at 8, my e time? Yeah, or like 8, 8, 10, 8, 20 probably. Wait, okay. And the, the band will be playing? Uh, they're there. not going to be playing, they're going to be talking. What's the name of the band? It's letters. It's like K V P L D or something. K D M. No. M. I don't know the num the letters. I don't know. <laughs> K L P P. K L P D W. No, K M. It's K M V P. K M V P. Oh, you know? Yeah. How do you know? Because I looked it up. It, where? On the internet. But like. How did you look it up on what band's coming here? You don't know my, uh, listen, I got, I got some <laughs> Yeah, uh, I guess Freddy publicizing? I guess Freddy's doing stuff that I'm unaware of, huh? Probably. No, I thought, I found, I found it in a, in a, uh, sneakier way than that. Don't you worry about it. Oh my god. I, I don't even know what, I don't know who's, I, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll blame, Fre we'll blame Freddy for leaking. <laughs> um... Okay, MVP goes ribbit with frogs. Yeah. Um, y'all feel... This album... Uh-huh. What? I was going to tell Bird that you're back in rehab. Oh, yeah, there we are. Oh. Yes, I am. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm going to get it right one of these days. Way to go. Yeah. Did you... 
Or, I mean, I don't know. Is that kind of personal? But did you ever have to go, Burn? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been there a couple times. You did? Yeah. And it worked? Maybe, maybe three. Did it work? Oh, like, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I'd say it does. I think it worked. You seem more, I think you're more functional than me. No. Wait, I didn't know Bird had a issue. I don't know. You want to yeah, talk about it, Bird? I, I don't was, know. Uh, <clears throat> I, my parents forced me to go to an inpatient rehab when I was 19. Oh, and yeah? I'm not having it. That's what Kiara's doing yeah, right now, too. Not, Say that again? Kiara got forced into rehab with her parents recently. Yeah. And uh, and then I was not having it, and I, I was disruptive, so they so I didn't complete the, uh, the course. And then um, when I was 25, I, I voluntarily went into one, and I was, uh, I was sober for, like, 11 years after that. And then I, then I started drinking again and I probably drank for like maybe eight or nine years I guess maybe but like never like I had like I was before but then it started to be an issue with uh, with my wife and uh, we would get into uh, little altercations and I found that uh when I had been drinking, I, I didn't really have control over my emotions. And, um, and so I would sort of let the anger get the best of me. And, uh, and so I had to, had to nip that one in the bud there. And mm, just, that's uh, good. and I went to, uh, I went to AA meetings for like six months. What recently? Um, yeah, yeah, and oh. I've been, I've actually been co- totally sober for over a year now, but I dropped out of the meetings, huh. um, kind of just because, you know, so hmm. I'm not really, like, working a recovery program, which is not a, not really a good thing, you know, and I, I think about going back to meetings, um, and doing the steps and everything like that, because, you know, it would be good to work the steps, but also it's a way to meet people, you know, and to, like, make friends and stuff I heard like you're not that, supposed so. to make friends that way, though, because of batteries. Because of... Because of what? Because of dead batteries. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 you're talking about, like, romantic... Yeah, friends. I don't know. Oh, you can have plutonic friends with dead batteries? Yeah, yeah you're not supposed yeah. to... You're not supposed to be dating. Definitely you're not. That's, like, frowned upon. That's ter- that's I think it's happened seven. where people meet each other um, and, like, fall in love, but maybe that's, like, at a conference or something, you know, not, like, in a meeting uh, environment. But you can make friends, and, yeah, you're not supposed to have a sponsor of, of a different gender. So you're supposed to yeah. be, um, you know, in the same gender in terms of, like, people that you're working the program with mm. uh, so Bert, do you ever struggle uh do you ever struggle with the language used in aa because that's something i have trouble with yeah yeah there i mean i think the book is a little dated um you know and they've they've kind of redone it a couple times but uh i would say it's a little dated but i overall i like the focus on like the spirit like and higher power and like <laughs> not it doesn't they're not necessarily pushing an anthropomorphic god or any particular religion you know mm-hmm. but they say you do need to have like a, a higher power and they leave it yeah. really broad i like that you know that yeah um, i mean i think they do get a little pushy with christianity but um yeah but i think like overall like the new, the modern teaching is very um, like non-specific in terms of religion, yeah. and it's uh, it accepting who you're all to. different faiths. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, we gotta, I'm gonna call Mr. Ginsu as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add him good. on here because he's been leaving a lot of messages, so we gotta call him. But I don't know if he's gonna answer. Yeah. Um, anyway, okay. I guess that work in your recovery. Um, I don't really drink, um, anyway. Yeah. 
I, I never. I think we do have an addiction, though. To this program? Maybe. <laughs> What's my addiction? Um, mm, take out food. Then. What? Take out? <laughs> take out food, yeah. Like, uh, food. so addiction is defined by the consequences, right? I need to be having negative consequences. I've been drinking, I mean, uh, I, I got COVID, like, like um, about a month and a half ago. Um, and I stopped drinking coffee for, like, a week and a half, and my energy levels were much more uh, uh, easy, you know? Hmm. Because so, of the coffee you yeah. out? Yeah, I, I am. I'm, I'm like physically addicted to coffee. Are you concerned at all? Just about hey, hello? Mr. Ginter? Yeah. What? It's the program. We only have about, <laughs> eight, minute, we only have about eight minutes left, but Bird and Yellowfellow are both here, too. Hi. Uh oh, it's hard to hear you. You're going to hotbox the studio? We're going to hotbox the studio. We only got about six yeah. minutes left. Yeah, Kenny, pass me that bong, bro. Yeah, these guys are in recovery, Mr. Ginsu. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, good I'm glad well, I'm not glad that you need recovery because recovery just uh, implies that you didn't know how to moderate we, in the first place. We didn't know how to, uh, we didn't know how to drink we didn't know how to drink like gentlemen, right? We didn't couldn't drink like gentlemen. But, uh, uh, you're a partier, and you didn't know that you, you can drink less. <laughs> but, uh, although, at some point, I guess you need to just stop because you got a fucking problem. And uh, then later on, you can fucking make decisions whether you can uh, one day a month closer or not drink at all because it's too much of a fucking movie for that. Yeah. Um, I want to record a message of the future with all three. <laughs> Here it goes. Hey, future. It's just the past. What do you say, future? Well, what do you think hey. about for yourself? What's your choice? Do you just stop and cold turkey? All right, Bird, what do you say, future? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, stop and smell the flowers. Y'all fell. I'm a degenerate alcoholic and I'm not going to change. I ate a hoagie. Bye, future. No drinking. No drinking. <laughs> I thought you already did change. Or maybe... Well, well, I, I took care of the the symptom of my... Uh, I cut out the... the I, can't, I, can't even, I can't even say this shit. I'm burning out. <laughs> Seems like a, how come there's not like a cool AA where, where they're cool? It seems like kind of, um, like, oh, you mean, like, I'm like cool persons anonymous. Yeah. So we're trying like, not to be cool anymore. AA for chillers. <laughs> AA for chillers instead of churchies. Well, I, I, I actually prefer going to, it kind of sounds pretty pretentious, but they call it smart recovery. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's just, it's based more in just, like, therapy ideas, I guess. I don't so know. That, yeah, that sounds like uh, AA for chillers, if I ever heard of one. <laughs> yeah, but um, I also see the value in AA and NA as far, like, in different ways. Um, in some ways, it might be more effective and I don't know. It's. I think I just need to be. Um, I, if people could just like let like guard me at all times. <laughs> yeah. You, know? you just need to be monitored. <laughs> Which is kind of yeah. What's been happening? Um, yeah, I just need to be kept a very close eye on. Is that how people talk? Yeah. I, yeah. I need. I need. Uh, well, that's what uh, very wealthy people have. They have um sober companions um and uh you know, you I, I would for your own fucking self god damn <laughs> stop fuck <laughs> wait you're saying all I have to do is stop Mr. Ginsu that's right you take responsibility for yourself god damn 
Dat is pas een jaar van het bariaal. Die ik voel. Heet het niet uit. Pak Not your best eater. You get the top and fucking work on just being a good person. Live your life. Fucking don't do it. Good plan. Yeah. Um, what'd you eat for breakfast? Who? Uh, yeah, I guess yell for whoever. <laughs> yeah, what do you, what do you, what do you eat in your rehab? They got... Those, those. So, if you're just begging for one, you can go over and hang out with Tim once in a while. Wait, is Mr. Gintz doing recovery? No. Hell no. Hell no. no. I, was never, I was never in a spot where I needed to recover from anything. Yeah, I, I'm, I feel good about myself. But um, what about the, uh, what, they got the trays like in jail where they got trays where they have like a pasta tray with different segments in no, it? No, I'm, I'm in... I'm in that like a house, right? Uh-huh. Now. Like a like a big uh-huh. house, and then they take us for groups during the day. But um, today, um, for breakfast, I had a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios, and that was that. Remember when you were drawing the bee like somewhat obsessively? I do remember that. <laughs> what happened to that? Um. One day during COVID, me and Luke, we took all my drawings of the Honey Nut Cheerios bee, uh, and we brought them to a park nearby, and we set them along a tree, and we just left them there. Wow, there was a lot of them. Yeah. I um, Well, the reason I started drawing pictures of him is because ever since I was a, uh, a child, I would have... Um, and this happened up until... I think up until about 2020, I would, I would I would have these very intense visualizations of that bee, and I was thinking that he was like giving me little like um, he was like giving me little uh, tips and just talking to me throughout the day, telling me what to do in certain situations. It um, I knew it was fake, but I still kind of took it seriously um, for many years of my life, um, and I kind of just and then one day it just kind of stopped. He went away. Kind of around the time that I left those pictures in the in the park, I guess. You were you but, uh, were uh, exercising him. Yeah, but maybe I'll try to. I mean, I think I could bring him back if I wanted to. Mister right. Gintz, did you ever feel like you ever had like a a cartoon character type of friends that you would like talk to you in your brain throughout the day? I do not. I just talk to myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, and me. The show's about over, though. Thanks, everybody, for being here today. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Mr. Gintz, too. Everybody, First call time. back all the time. Uh, yeah, you three are the most constant callers out of everybody, but uh, they're all here at once. It's kind of difficult to navigate a little bit, but uh, they, oh, thanks. Uh, Kiara, and here's the end. We made it. Everybody, call and leave messages. Hail Satan. Thanks for watching. It's Monday. We're on TCTV channel 22, 11, 30, and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, why don't you be home on YouTube? 360 to 634. Call me message on TV. Yeah. Why don't you be home dot com? TCTV, the baby. TCTV audio library is a good song. Thank you. TCTV, the baby, Dory Fabulous, Record Books, Four Star Video, Stops by Com, Rebecca Mountain Board, Northwest, Eastern County, Washington State, USA, thank you, and the viewers is here watching, thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Right out.